Hello, Sim friends, and welcome back to my channel. This is Jess Rassic Snark. Thank you so much for coming to watch my video. Today I am building a medieval castle um, in the German style. Um, I have named this build Reinhardt Castle, um, like R-E-I-N-H-A-R-D-T, Castle. Um, and this is modeled after a real-life medieval German castle called Berg Elz. I guess Berg must be German for castle because it's also called Elz Castle. I found it online while I was looking for medieval castles. <laughs> I literally typed into Google medieval German castle. And this is um, probably my favorite one that I pulled up. The things that I like about it are that it's tall and thin, um, it's surrounded by um, trees, and it's on the top of a big hill, um, and I tried to recreate that here in this build. Um, it's also got some really interesting architecture uh, on the top levels, um, the siding, and there's some stuff in the Tudor style as well as a lot of stone. Here are some actual pictures of Castle Elz, or Elz Castle in Germany. Um, like, like I said, you can see it's super tall, super thin. Um, I really love the style. It totally fits in with what I was looking for. Um, and I built this for my upcoming Medieval Let's Play. That should be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I have a bunch of builds already done and then I'm gonna do some more builds that you'll be able to see um, if you're really more interested in the screenshots you can go ahead and skip to 33 minutes um, the 33 minute mark that's where you'll see um, the screenshots starting to start <laughs> starting to start bleh. and um, this video is 35 minutes long it's pretty long but the part of the reason is is because this build took me 10 hours <laughs> it's definitely the most uh, uh, expansive build I've, build I've ever done. It is um, definitely the longest and the biggest. This is on the 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg where the Fires house is. Um, in simoleons, this costs 669,398 simoleons. Um, not that, you know, the reason you would download this house would be because would be because it's for like your sims who have made a bunch of money clearly you'd be cheating <laughs> clearly you'd be trying to play uh in some sort of like medieval princess princes queens and kings and something um <laughs> type of play style um so um yeah i built it for my let's play that's coming up and i'm really excited about that um so, like I said, this is modeled after a real-life castle in Germany. Um, Elz Castle was built between the 11th and 13th centuries. Um, what's really fascinating about this castle is that the Elz family still owns it. The same family has owned this castle for the last 850 years. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that has rarely happened, I'm sure, elsewhere in history. Um, Usually castles would get destroyed or um, uh, taken over and rebuilt um, over the various wars that had plagued Europe in uh, the medieval part of uh, history. And um, that's what really sets this uh, castle apart, which I think is really cool. Um, there's actually some really cool stories about how the castle was saved several times from destruction. I think um, one of my favorites that I found was that there were people coming to uh, attack the castle and nearby villagers led them or kind of like kited them into a cornfield and then lit it on fire. <laughs> So <laughs> they managed to protect the castle by doing that. So that's kind of a wild story. Um, and there's more stories to find if you were to go look online. Um, Elz Castle still stands in Germany. It was recently uh, refurbished. Um, if you live in Germany or somewhere nearby, you should definitely take some time to go look at this castle. Um, they do have tours. It's open during part of the year for tours. They have tours in German and a few tours every day in English and some other languages. So you should definitely take some time out of your life to go check out this castle because it's so cool. Um, and a lot of the architecture is original and a lot of, they do a lot of like recreations of, you know, furniture and the, the wallpaper and all that good stuff. It's really cool. So you should check it out. Um, so this build, my build, um, my version of this castle, um, has 10 bedrooms, 
Many of those are actually servants' quarters. Um, obviously, in The Sims, you can't have more than eight Sims in the same household. So unless you have a mod to change that, you wouldn't be using all of those bedrooms anyway. Um, but I can tell you this much. Right now, I te play, uh, bleh, test played it, play tested it with five Sims. And um, it was already a little laggy. Um, and I have a really good computer. So if you're going to download this, um, by the time this video comes out, this castle will be available on the gallery. You can search for the hashtag snark or just look for my um, origin ID, which is the same name as my uh, YouTube channel. It's just just Jurassic underscore snark. Um, and then also the name of the castle is Reinhardt Castle. So you can look that up to uh, on the gallery to find it and download it. Um, if you do... You're gonna want to make sure that your computer is on the settings necessary for you to be able to <laughs> download it. Just because, uh, you know, my computer is a pretty good computer. Um, it's only about seven, eh, like nine months old. Um, so it's still pretty top of the line. And uh, with with five Sims and a 64 by 64 lot and a four story house. Um, actually technically six stories because I do the two basement stories underneath. Uh, it was starting to lag a little bit at times. Not badly, you know, not really bad, but especially if I like sped it up to three times speed and then tried to pause it, it would lag. Um, so just be careful with that. <laughs> um, also, if you download this, make sure you have move objects on because I use that a lot in this build. And then also make sure that you... Um, have the outdoor retreat expansion pack. If you don't, um, it's gonna look really weird <laughs> because I use the coffee table and the the stone seat from that expansion pack to make um, walls along the side, um, stone walls in the basement stories. So um, if you don't have it, it's gonna re the the game will replace it with other chairs and coffee tables. And it's going to look weird. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous and probably unusable. So make sure that you have the Outdoor Retreat Expansion Pack. Um, so you can see me now. I'm doing the roofing. I think the roofing was definitely one of the harder parts of this build. Um, I think whenever you do something that's, you know, whenever you build something that's complicated in any way, shape, or form, um, the roofing is always going to be a little tricky. Um, I decided to just go with square roofs for most of it, just because I didn't like the way that, um, you know, doing one roof and then doing the diagonal roof on top of it looked. Um, I thought this just made more sense to just do it like this. Also, you know, this is supposed to be something that was built a long time ago. It's not supposed to be super, super fancy. It's really built more for function than um, for fashion, right? So, um, but it did take me a little while to kind of figure out exactly how I wanted it to look. You can kind of see me messing around with this roof right here. That looks like a Japanese roof. And then I mess with it. No, that doesn't look right. Oh, even Jap more Japanese. Looks even more Japanese. Okay, let's fix it. There we go. <laughs> and then, um, so I finally decided that I liked how that looked. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. I'm really, really excited about the upcoming Let's Play. Um, I have a lot of stuff... Uh, coming up. So if you are somebody who has not subscribed yet, you should totally subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a medieval let's play and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's lots of different characters, obviously like a king, queen, there's a princess, um, there's going to be a witch and a farmer, some peasants, some nobles. I'm going to be doing a build of a marketplace. I'm going to be doing a build of a farmer's house and the witch's house. So definitely um, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you can get notifications when I post new content, which hopefully I will definitely be doing every Saturday. Hopefully I'll be able to do them on Wednesdays too. I would like to get some up on Wednesdays as well, but you know, we'll see. Um, I do work 40 hours a week, so <laughs> I'm going to do my best y'all. I will do my best, but, um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to do that. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm super excited about this. Um, so again, thank you so much. If you're still watching this, I really, really appreciate you. Um, and definitely like this video and subscribe. Um, so um, one of the things that um, I did really uh, mostly for the first time is I did a test run first. Um, I built a castle that was very similar to this for about an hour and a half. And I didn't like it <laughs> because it was too squat. Um, one of the things that makes um, 
else castle unique or that made it stand out to me at least was that it's very tall and thin and I really like that look about it um, and the first castle I built was too wide I just built it way too wide and it didn't look right at all um, so I ended up bulldozing the entire thing and starting over <laughs> um, which you might think makes me an insane person but <laughs> um, I promise you I'm not and I uh, I just rebuilt the whole thing and it, but it was good though because then it allowed me to do like practice for the roofing and practice for this bridge right here, this castle gate, um, which you'll notice is different than the real Elts Castle. The real Elts Castle gate has like a, a big roof, a big green roof. Um, but I decided I didn't like the way that looked when I did the test run. Um, and so I like this more kind of traditional, you know, medieval castle look. Um, I don't know what you call that type of, it's not a fence, it's a wall, like a stone wall that's like, you know, uneven, the uneven stone wall. I don't know, what, that's got to be a name for that. Why can't I think of it? Someone will tell me, hopefully, in the comments. If you know what that type of wall is called, put it down in the comments so I stop looking like a dope. <laughs> um, so, um, so I did change that. Um, and then one of the other things that really makes um, Castle Elts stand out, or Elts Castle stand out, is the um, siding, is the fact that it's got this really cool Tudor siding, um on the upper turrets and um, the pieces of the castle that kind of stick out a little bit. So you'll see here, I'm working on that. Um, one of the things that you want to do to make sure that this looks good is that you alternate what types of wallpaper you're using. So you'll see sometimes they're diagonal left, sometimes they're diagonal right. You know, some of them have the little flower on it, some of them don't. And so make sure that you pay attention to that and that you're playing with it and alternating what wallpapers you use because that's what makes this Tudor style wallpaper look really good and um, you'll notice that in all of the builds that I'm doing for this medieval um, this medieval let's play um, I do that I'm gonna be doing that for just about all of them <laughs> so except for maybe the the farm which won't have like really nice siding or anything like that um, so that's uh, just pro tip pro tip for you um, so anyway, um, so some of the things that will be coming up, I think I already talked about this a little bit, but, um, the farmer's house, the, uh, witch's house, the medieval market place, but also I'm going to be doing probably some creative sims, um, because what I would like to do in order to, um, have the immersion during the let's play as, you know, complete as possible is I'm going to be trying to, um, you know, get, townies or create townies that will show up randomly um, but they'll look like peasants and nobles and medieval folks um, because what I'm afraid of is you know if you're like at the medieval marketplace and you know Jeffrey Landgrab shows up <laughs> you know like Jeffrey and Nancy Landgrab show up it's gonna be kind of weird so in order to prepare for my let's play what I'm gonna have to do is go through all of the houses, evict everybody, delete them all out of this save for the Sims, and then create new townies. So I'm going to be doing um, some creative Sims for that, and then I'm hoping there will, there will be like a few other um, maybe like surprises in there. I'm not sure exactly exactly all what I'm going to do yet, but I'm really really excited for that. Um, one thing you'll note um, if you watch this whole video is that I save very frequently <laughs> like I save um, at least and I didn't edit it out because I think that's something that's important um, there I go I'm saving um, because it is so big and it is so um, like f the file size itself is really really big it's super intensive it stinks to have to do stuff over again so um, that's just a reminder to you all make sure you save your game frequently <laughs> um, so um, I am so excited. I know that you already know this, but they have officially announced, I think I already talked about this in my last video too, but it has been officially announced that the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack is coming on November 10th of this year. I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. I talked about this in my last build. If you saw um, City Spa, the City Spa build, the, the like high-end spa that I built in San Myshuno for one of my sims. Um, I talked about cats and dogs, but I'm really excited for it. There's going to be foxes and raccoons, too. I am a little bit sad. I'm one of those people that's kind of sad that we're not having, um, that we're not going to have um, horses 
because I really thought we were going to. <laughs> um, I was pretty sure that that would be included, because um, as far as I know, it was in The Sims 3, but... And, and the, one of the reasons I was looking forward to it so much is because of this Let's Play, is because of this, you know, highly stylized um, Let's Play and the builds that I'm doing for it. Um, I thought it would be great to have, you know, knights on horseback and that kind of stuff. Um, but unfortunately, that's just not the case right now. Uh, hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll get another expansion pack. I'm one of those people that is really hoping for, like, a farm expansion pack. Um, so hopefully we'll get that, you know, hopefully we'll get horses and cows and pigs and chickens and that kind of stuff, some sheep or something. That would be really cool. Um, so maybe we'll get that in the future, even though that, to me, that kind of sounds like an entire expansion pack and not just like a game pack or something like that. So I guess we'll have to see. So this building, um, is, uh, mimicking, um, a real outbuilding in uh, Elts Castle. Um, and I made this into a chapel. So, um, that's one of the things I really love about The Sims is that you can kind of like mess around and create stories. Um, and so, uh, and you'll get to see, this is just part one of this build, part one for the exterior. Um, and then there'll be a part two video coming out next Saturday, um, this coming Saturday with um, the interior. Um, so you get to see the inside of the chapel, but I really, really love it. Um, I thought it came out um, really good. Um, and so, you know, medieval culture, the church was a big deal <laughs> in medieval culture. And of course, if there was a royal family that had, um, you know, a, a castle, of course they would have a chapel. So that's why I built that. Um, so that they're able to go and and worship their little sim gods, <laughs> whatever those may be. Maybe it's like Game of Thrones. There's like the crone and the, the smith and the warrior, etc., etc. <laughs> Who knows? Um, speaking of which, I don't know if any of y'all are Game of Thrones fans, but how about that season finale? Holy cow! I cannot believe there's only a few episodes left next season, and I can't believe we have to wait a whole year to see it. Oh, oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers away or anything like that, so I won't, but it was great, and this season, they're, like, finally giving us all the things that we've wanted for so long. Um, I saw, like, somebody wrote a blog about how, like, this season, Game of Thrones is, like, now it's finally the show that it, that's been promised to us this whole time, and I totally agree with that. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, I don't know what that has to do with Sims four cats and dogs. I guess it doesn't, but there's a lot of stuff coming with Sims four cats and dogs. So, um, I would be interested to find out, you know, what about it you're most excited to get your hands on. Um, so obviously there's cats and dogs, there's going to be foxes. Um, and it has been confirmed that you'll be able to bring them into your family. There will also be raccoons that has not been confirmed. They'll, they'll be able to be added to your family. I'm really hoping that we're going to get an announcement about stinky skunk who was one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite NPCs from uh, The Sims 2. Um, so I hope Stinky Stunk Skunk shows up. But also, um, you know, they're bringing back the color wheel for your pets, not for your Sims, just for your pets. Um, so that's pretty cool. But also, um, there's a new town. There's a whole new neighborhood that's going to be included with the expansion pack. Um, there's also a new career. So there's going to be... Um, a uh, veterinarian career where you can become a veterinarian, you can own a clinic um, and like hire folks. I, I don't know if it's going to be kind of like owning, I, th I think I heard it's going to be kind of like a combination of owning a restaurant and kind of, you know, the, the going to work, like in the get to work uh, game pack. So um, I'm really excited for that. That's going to be really cool. Um, apparently um, your pets will not be able to get jobs which is what it is, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so um, what are some things about the upcoming expansion pack that you're excited about? Um, and what are some things that you're not so excited about? Also, that toddler expansion pack I finally managed to get. If you listened to my um, build last week, you know that I went back home to my hometown for my mom's 70 to 70th birthday. So, um, unfortunately I flew out on the morning of the 24th and so, um, I was unable to download the new toddler expansion pack until I got back. So just yesterday I downloaded it. Um, yesterday, the day that I'm recording this, I'm not, it's not Saturday for me. <laughs> um, this is when you're watching it. You're watching it on Saturday, but I didn't record it on Saturday. Um, 
So I didn't get to download it until yesterday, so I haven't even really gotten to play it very much yet because I wanted to finish this video. Um, so I guess, you know, it seems cool. It seems like um, I, I watched some of the other reviews. I watched Deligracy's review and Soap Sims review. Um, the clothing looks great. The new hair looks great. Um, the ball pit, you know, could be better. <laughs> I haven't seen it, you know, in person yet because, like I said, I only just downloaded it. I haven't, like, you know, uh, played with it yet. I made a new family in there. Just got pre they just got pregnant, so we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, it doesn't look great. It just looks kind of weird and flat. So anyway, let me know what you think about that. Um, so I recognize that this video is ridiculously long. Um, it's 35 minutes. Again, if you want to skip ahead to the screenshots, um, just skip ahead to the 33 minute mark. Um, the reason it's so long is because like I said, it took me 10 hours to build this, um, plus the hour and a half that I spent, um, testing, like, uh, figuring it out. And then another hour and a half to film everything, um, like the screenshots and that kind of stuff. Um, and like I said, I, I want to get like the best stuff in there. And I also want to include some of the things about like the parts of how I built certain things or how I did things. Um, cause I know for me watching other people's builds is how I learned, you know, how to be successful building things, you know, and, um, the choices that I make are, are intentional because of, you know, watching other people's builds. So, um, I wanted to include as much of that as possible, things that I struggled with. You'll see me kind of go back and forth on a couple different things, um, try new things out, um, try and figure out how to make things look the best. Um, and I wanted to keep that in here because I think it's valuable um, for folks who want to build and who want to do that kind of thing. Like you'll see the windows in the back of the chapel here. Um, I mess around with them quite a bit. Um, and I want to leave that stuff in. Like when I was struggling with the roof, I want to leave that in. I know most folks have a lot of trouble with roofing. I think that's like the one thing that I hear people say all the time. So, um, yeah, I wanted to leave that in. Um, so this, uh, build, let's see, I already said that it will be available to download. Um, the roofing was the hardest part. I'm trying to think of all, all the things that I wanted to say and make sure that I said everything um, before I stopped talking. Um, so yeah, so what you can look forward to on my channel coming up. So I'm going to be doing, there's a bunch of stuff coming up. Oh my gosh, I have so many plans. It's ridiculous. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel um, if you haven't already. I know that's like the fifth time that I said it, but I'm a very young channel. I have less, I have, excuse me, fewer than. I have fewer than 40 subscribers as I'm recording this. So the more subscribers I get, the easier it is going to be for me to be able to do more content. I'll be able to spend more time on this. Um, so if you like what you see, make sure you do that. And now I just monologued about it for like three minutes. Sorry. <laughs> and I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I have so much stuff going on. That's what it was. <laughs> Scatterbrain. Um, so like I said, uh, the medieval Let's Play stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also going to be doing um, some renovations of my medieval builds. So like I was talking about earlier, I want the um, immersion to be really top notch. And in order to do that, I think I have to change some things and use some mods and some custom co custom content um, to make that work. Uh, so I'm going to be um, renovating a bunch of my builds to put in things like a medieval privy, right? Because they wouldn't have had normal toilets, um, a wash basin, you know, um, fireplaces that you can cook with, that kind of stuff. Um, showers that make sense <laughs> for a medieval build. So, um, so you can look forward to that. Um, I'm going to be doing, uh, probably one video where I renovate all of them. So I'm going to wait till I get all of them built and because I want you to be able to download them on the gallery without having to have any custom content. And then what I'll do is I'll renovate them and then put the links for the custom content in the description box for those builds. Um, and then I'm also going to be doing um, a tutorial on how to install uh, custom content into your game, mods and custom content. Um, I think I said this in a recent build, but I feel like there aren't a whole lot of really comprehensive beginning to finish uh, tutorials that are well done. 
um, on how to do that. So I'm going to be making one of those and hopefully that's helpful to you and anyone else you know who has trouble with that kind of thing. So um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, <laughs> shameless self-promotion, shameless plug. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, and uh, you'll be able to see that. Um, I also have some cool builds coming up for the fall. I don't know when the heck I'm going to find the time to do all this stuff, but I will do it, I promise. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to do like an apple orchard build and then um, possibly a Halloween themed build. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, so what else? What else? What else can we talk about? So if Sims is right, it does sometimes become difficult to fill up all the time <laughs> doing a voiceover. Um, so uh, for next week's video for the interior, some of the things that you can look forward to is uh, a dungeon. There's a dungeon in this build. Um, there is a feast room, like a feast hall. There's a study. And then one of the things that I'm really, really excited about is there is a, uh, a wizard's room. Um, the wizard and his like study. Um, and that room is really cool. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Um, and then when I can use the custom content, it's going to be even cooler. So I'm excited about that. So we have that to look forward to. Um, and then also, um, there were some, I think it was, uh, Sim Guru Graham released some footage or not footage, but some screenshots of the clothing that will be coming out in the, um, eco stuff pack, which we still don't know when that's coming out. I really hope that we find out soon. I have a funny feeling that it's not going to be until after the new year, but you never know. We'll see. So, um, but anyway, it was for, um, some women's tops. So that looked cool. I hope that we get more information about that, but I don't know be, with the, um, cats and dogs pack coming out. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a whole lot of that. Um, like a whole lot of announcements about the eco stuff pack just because they have other stuff to make announcements about. And whenever they do this, it's like, here's one screenshot at a time, which is kind of infuriating to me. Like, give me more. I want more. I want to know. <laughs> You're killing me. Um, like the toddler stuff pack is cool and everything, but you know, it's like what? 20 items like come on you're killing me <laughs> like I want to I want more I want to know what's going on <laughs> um, so <laughs> hopefully we find out more about that in the coming days and weeks and months but again I, I really don't think it's going to come out until after the new year but we'll see especially since there's no uh, announcement about it yet but you never know maybe it'll it'll come out like right before Christmas or something like that maybe they'll drop it like mid-December or something like that so we'll see we'll see Anyway, so um, I know that I talked about in the Old Mare Inn build um, that will be linked at the end of this video. Um, I talked about how I went to the Renaissance Fair a few weeks ago, and that was one of the things that kind of inspired me to do this Let's Play and do these builds. And I'm actually going back. I'm really excited to go to the Renaissance Fair again. It's going to be really exciting. Um, it's the Bristol Renaissance Fair here in Illinois. Um, and uh, I think it was voted, like, best... Renaissance Fair in the country a bunch of times in a row. So that's pretty cool. Um, not this year for some reason, but many years in a row. <laughs> it it was uh, voted, I think, like up until like 2016, 2015 or something like that. Um, I love how this bridge turned out. I think it looks so cool. Um, and then I didn't film it for some reason. I like, I don't know when I did it, but I actually changed it so that it looks like there's water underneath the bridge. Um, if you've ever tried to build in the basements, then you know that you cannot build pools on the bottom floor, like the second basement level down, um, just because it doesn't go any lower than that. And so you can't actually put water features on the bottom floor. You just have to fake it. But I feel like I did a really good job. You'll see a screenshot at the end of the video. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I like used a fountain and a pipe to make it look like there's like a drain pipe. Um, and I used um, like a mossy green color carpet or like flooring to make it look like it's murky water. And then I used like lily pads and that kind of stuff to dress it up a little bit. I put rocks around the edge so that it kind of looks like it's uh, 
you know, like a murky little pond underneath the bridge. So maybe it like dried up a little bit over the years. Um, and I think it looks really good. So take a look at that when we get to the screenshot part. Um, and then this is a little graveyard behind the chapel. Um, I use this angel a bunch of different times. Um, and you'll see that. I don't know if I actually included it. I don't remember. We already passed it. And I wasn't paying attention, I guess. But either you saw it already in this video, or you're going to see it in the interior video. video. I'm going to use those angels a couple of times. Um, and so, like, you know how we have... Well, they're not angels. They're fairies. So, like, you know, in modern, or not even modern, but even in um, ancient, I guess, or medieval re uh, religion, um, Christianity, angels were a big thing, right? Um, and so I thought those fairies kind of looked a little bit like angels. So maybe that's what they worship. Maybe there's, like, uh, instead of angels, it's fairies. <laughs> it could be. Um, both are just as likely to be real. <laughs> and... Um, so, and then you'll see here, I'm kind of dressing up the roof a little bit. Um, I love these flags that we got from the Get Together expansion pack. Um, and that's another one. If you don't have the Get Together expansion pack, like, you're going to have a hard time with this build. And then here, like I was talking about before, um, the coffee table and the seat from uh, the Outdoor Retreat stuff pack. I use those over and over and over again. So if you don't, I mean, you're about to see, it's kind of ridiculous. So if you don't have that pack, you need to get it before you can download this build. Um, and I'm not the only one who does this. I've seen a bunch of other simmers do this. Um, and so I think, you know, it's probably pretty imperative that if you're going to download any castles or anything like that, um, that you download that. So anyway, we're coming up on the end here. Like this video. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my upcoming content. Um, I really, really appreciate you, you know, watching this video, even if you only watched a little bit or even if you're right here right now along with me. Um, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for spending your time, your valuable time, watching my channel and watching my builds. And I really hope that you have a really excellent rest of your Labor Day weekend. Have a great weekend, y'all. I really appreciate you. Like and subscribe. Oh, bye bye